All right. Um, I thought we'd uh, talk a little bit about this new board I've got. Um, it's an 8085, and um, compare it to uh, this board that I'm building, uh, which is a Z80 board. Um, I'm really interested in the clock circuits. So uh, this one has an oscillator, um, and the oscillator runs the uh, uh, six megahertz uh, that runs the uh, microprocessor. Uh, it also has another oscillator uh, that's just for the UART. Um, so we have a special clock, and that's so we can divide that clock by numbers um, and get the right baud rates. Um, so generally you want the microprocessor to do as fast as it can, and then you want a special clock for the baud rate generator. So uh, oftentimes there's two different uh, crystals um, uh, for those two different jobs. Um, we can see that in the uh, in the uh, Zeta board. Uh, the Zeta board has three actually. It has one for the microprocessor and circuitry. It has one for the uh, UART. It also has one for the floppy disk controller, I believe. I think that's what the third one's for. Um, and if we take a look at um, the baud rate generator itself, uh, this board uses a 1.8432 megahertz, as does this board, um, uses an eight, uh, 1.83, 8.8. Point, I'm sorry, 1.8432 megahertz. Um, so that's a popular, a popular number. Um, but let's take a look at this board. Uh, this board's a little bit different. Um, it doesn't use an oscillator, it uses just a crystal. So that's more common in these old uh, processor designs. Uh, never, I never used an oscillator back in the day. It was always just a, 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 a crystal. Um, and the clock generation was done by the part. Um, so this one uses a crystal, and then if we look around the board, um, there's no other clock for the UART. Uh, so somehow, the other clock must be generated somehow. Um, and so uh, I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at how that's done. Um, so um, I guess the first question is, uh, what's so magical uh, about uh, 18432? Hertz. Okay, so uh, 1,843,200 Hertz. Um, what's, what's magical about that number? Um, so uh, let's get out a calculator and uh, see if we can't generate other numbers. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, if we put in 18432, uh, there we go. So that's our master clock. Uh, let's divide that by two. Let's divide that by two. Divide that by two. Divide that by two. Let's divide that by two. Ah, there's an interesting number. Let's write that down. Um, five, seven, six hundred. So that should look uh, similar to a baud rate that we're used to, 57, 600 as the baud rate. Um, let's go ahead and divide it by two again. Divided by, uh, that gives us uh, 28,800. That looks like a baud rate. Divided by 2 again, uh, 14,400. That looks like a baud rate. Uh, divided by 2 again, 7,200. Hmm. I don't remember ever using 7,200. Divided by 2, 3,600. I don't really remember that. 1,800, no. 900, no. 450, no, 225, no. So um, so these are interesting baud rates, but they're not all of the baud rates. What about 9600? 9600 seems to be very popular. Why, why, why isn't that on here? Or 19.2, why isn't that on here? Um, so let's see what's going on here. We've got, um, we've got one eight, oops, let me put this back on camera. Um, we have, one eight four three two hundred and fifty seven six hundred. So that's thirty two. So this is uh, if you take this master clock and you divide it by thirty two, you get this. Um, and then you divide it by another two, you get that. Divide it by another two, you get that. Um, but what if we want to get ninety six hundred um, or nineteen dot two? Uh, how would we do that? Um, so there must be something other than factors of two. 
so let's look at um, let's look at 19 uh, 19200 how would we get that so let's take um, 1843200 and 9600 oops number one to do 19.2 uh, 19200 that's 96 uh, so if we divide this by 96 uh, we'll get 19200 hmm that's interesting um, how do we get 96 um, so 96 is uh, 32 times 3 Okay, so we know we can divide by 32, that's easy, uh, we've done that before, but we have to have another divide by 3 in there somewhere. So, if we uh, divide by 3 first, and then we divide by 32, uh, we'll get 19,200. And if we take 19,200 and we divide that by 2, we get 9,600. So this looks familiar, divide that by 2. And divide that by 2, we get 4,800. That sounds familiar. And if we divide that by 2, oops, I did this wrong. Divide that by 2, divide that by 2, we get 2,400. That sounds like a baud rate. And you can see we can get down to 300 baud. So um, in this column, we're just dividing by even numbers. If this this column, we have to have we have to have one divide by three, and then we get all the other numbers. Um, so that's why this. Uh, this number is popular. Um, we only need to divide by twos or divide once by a three and then we only divide by twos and we get all of the baud rates that we're interested in. So um, that's why this is in the Zeta board, that's why this is in this um, uh, uh, retro, oops, not this one, in this uh, retro depot board. Um, so what about this new board? This board doesn't have that, so what frequency does that use? This board uses uh, 614400. It uses uh, 6, 6 megahertz, 6.144 megahertz. So what's magic, what's magic about that number? Well, let's see. Um, that's the oscillation of the um, of the microprocessor uh, using the crystal. Uh, the clock output pin on the microprocessor goes into this gal. So we know that somehow this output um, oscillation goes into the gal and then that goes into the UART. So somehow the gal is doing this divisions and it's being input by the output pin of the 8250, um, the uh, 8085. The 8085 outputs half of the crystal oscillation. So there's already divided by 2 in the 8085. So 614400 divided by 2. So the um, clock out is going to be 3 million, 3 megahertz. Um, okay, so let's take that number. Um, three zero seven two zero zero zero. Uh, let's divide that by two. Divide that by two. Uh, let's divide that by two. 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 Twenty-four. Divide that by two. Divide that by two. I'm not getting any interesting numbers. Not no interesting numbers at all. All right, so um, how do we get this and generate something like 57.6? So let's look at 57.600 and let's see what we have to divide here. Um, so we'll take uh, we'll take three zero seven two zero 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 and we'll divide that by 57.6. Hundred, and we get oh boy, that's not a good number at all. We get uh, fifty-three, fifty-three point three three three. So hmm, mm, 
and that's not going to work out at all. Um, let's take uh, the um, let's see, let's multiply or divide this by three. That doesn't get us anywhere. Let's uh, divide that by, let's say, five. Does that get us anywhere? Hmm. Let's take this number and divide it by five. Three, zero, seven, two, zero, zero, zero. Divide that by five. We get uh, six, one, four, four hundred. And then let's divide that by two, divide that by two, divide that by two, divide that by two, divide that by two. Whoa! We get 19.2. Okay, so we know that if we divide it by 5 and then divide it by some power of, of 2, we can get to 19.2. So in this particular case, uh, there was a magic 3, and we got these numbers. In this case, there's a magic 5, and we get these numbers. So if we divide it by uh, 5, we get uh, 614, 400, and then if we had 90. This is divided by 32. So we need to divide uh, this master clock. We need to divide by 5, and then we need to divide it by 32, and we get the 19.2. So that's going. What that's what's going on here in the board. In fact, there's a little bit of clue on the back of this board. Um, I think you can read that. You can see here that he's kind of labeled it here. The uh, uh, 19.200 is generated with a 307.2 kilohertz divided by 16 um, and then he has other divisions here so the way that you strap this uh, you can either get 19.2, 2400, 9600, or 1200 um, and so inside of the GAL part the 16V8 um, he has uh, equations in there that have a divide by 5 circuit and divide by 2 circuits and so that's how he generates the clocks in here so you have to choose wisely um, in order to get the baud rates collect, uh, correct. You either put in a separate clock um, that just does it automatically, you don't have to worry about the master clock, but if you're going to divide things down by the master clock, you have to know that it's either, it's some even integer multiple um, of the master clock. And so uh, choosing 6.144 uh, is the key here on this board, and then all the other clocks are derived from that.